calculations with waves. There is a mathematical relationship between wavelength and frequency involving the speed of light because light exhibits wave-like properties. So the speed of light is equal to c, which is 2.998 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Now the speed of light is a constant, so this is always going to be that value. Wavelength is represented by the Greek letter lambda, which looks like an upside down y, and frequency will denote that by the variable f. Now the mathematical relationship between light, wavelength, and frequency is this. The speed of light equals wavelength times frequency. And we can put that and represent that in the triangle as you can see on the bottom. Speed of light is equal to the wavelength times frequency. And we can use that equation to solve a problem like this. Calculate the frequency of red light, which has a wavelength of 7.2 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. Well, let's look at our knowns, which is the wavelength is given to us in the problem, lambda, 7.2 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. The speed of light, we always know, which is 2.998 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. That's always going to be that value because it's a constant. And our unknown is the frequency. So frequency equals, in order to figure out what we do, we cover up the frequency, and then the triangle reveals to us what we have to do. So frequency is going to be equal to the speed of light divided by the wavelength. So that is equal to 2.998 times 10 to the 8th divided by 7.2 times 10 to the negative 7th, and our answer is 4.16 times 10 to the 14th hertz, because the unit for frequency is hertz. Let's calculate the wavelength of ultraviolet light that has a frequency of 4.3 times 10 to the 16th hertz. Let's look at our knowns and our unknowns. Frequency is 4.3 times 10 to the 16th hertz that's given to us in the problem, and we also always know the speed of light, c, is always 2.998 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Our unknown is the wavelength, lambda. So what does lambda equal? Well, we have to cover up our unknown on our triangle, and it will reveal to us that we need to take the speed of light and divide it by frequency in order to get wavelength, which is equal to 2.998 times 10 to the 8th divided by 4.3 times 10 to the 16th, and that will give us 6.97 times 10 to the negative 9th meters for our wavelength of ultraviolet light.